like I said, I'm nine days on testosterone. So this is my voice, nine days on testosterone. This is my voice, one month on testosterone. This is my voice, two months on testosterone. <laughs> this is my voice, three months on testosterone. Hey guys, what's up? It is Tatum here. Uh, so I'm a little late, but uh, this is my three month on testosterone update. Um, I just, I haven't had time to film to be honest with you. But um, this month, I think there were quite a few like subtle changes in addition to like some bigger changes, like my voice has dropped a lot this month. Um, as you can probably hear, uh, it's pretty low at this point, so that's been really nice. I've been getting a lot of uh, comments from my coworkers and my friends about like how much it's dropped. Uh, it's also cracking a lot, so that's kind of the downside, <laughs> um, especially for people that don't know that I'm trans and going through tran transition. I feel like it probably just always sounds like I got something wacky going on with my voice, but I don't care. It's it's great. Like I. The progress from where I was to begin with, which I'll do the voice comparison at the very beginning, so you would have already seen that, but the progress is pretty um, pretty significant uh, for only being three months on testosterone. I had my three month checkup uh, like last week, and uh, my doctor decided to up my dosage a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Um, my uh test results i got back already with my t levels and i'm at like a 301 or something like like the very like minimum of the average testosterone levels in uh like cis men so i think it's like 300 to a thousand um i don't know exactly what the measurement is as far as like units goes but it's the the result is like 300 to a thousand for like the average male so i am technically and the average male uh, range for testosterone now, so uh, that's cool. And um, I'm still doing intramuscular injections into my leg. I haven't changed anything with that. Um, so that's pretty much it on like the medical standpoint of things. All my other test results are normal, like blood cell count, all of that um, is normal from what I could tell. I haven't talked to her, but she didn't call either to say anything was weird. Um, cause she's always like a, so with my clinic, it, we actually have this cool like app that, uh, sends us automatically all of our test results. It gives us appointment reminders. It like lists out all the prescriptions that you had. It's, it's pretty cool. But, um, so I got my test results through that and she was just like, you'll get your test results in like, by like this day. Um, if I don't call you, it means everything's good. So don't worry about it. So she hasn't called me. So I think I'm going to go as far as that goes. Uh, moving on past the like actual doctor medical prescription stuff um, I think my eyebrows have gotten a bit thicker uh, There's kind of a lot of like wild hairs happening in this area and like I never had like a unibrow situation going on before but it, it's kind of going on now um, so, I, I mean, I've never really like plucked my eyebrows beforehand uh, and I know that's an issue that like some trans guys have had in the past where they had like plucked their eyebrows to death when they um, were still identifying as uh, female and <laughs> they have trouble growing them in. I don't really have that issue. Um, the eyebrows is probably like the hairiest part of uh, part of my face. So, uh, and that was pre T. So now I, I mean, I'm not surprised they're getting thicker. I might actually have to do something about them though if it gets much past this. <laughs> um, facial hair. I, I did shave, like, a week ago. I don't think you're gonna be able to see, like, anything other than my acne. Um, I have, like, a little bit going on here. And, uh, there's, like, a couple of black hairs, like, over here. A little bit starting up here, like, by the sideburns. And then I have, like, just a couple, like, here. And a couple, like, scattered around that you definitely can't see. But, um... It is, it's definitely, like, getting darker, because it was all white before, like, all, like, completely white. So, it's gotten a lot darker, and, um, especially, especially the stash area, so I'm gonna have a really horrible, uh, puberty 12-year-old stash soon. 
<laughs> I'm probably just gonna keep shaving until it comes in a little bit thicker. Um, eventually, I would just love to have like like a huge burly. Actually, I'll just insert a picture. I I edited um, a beard onto myself on FaceApp, which is just a gift to trans people. <laughs> um, but I edited ed edited. I hate that word edited. Who? Uh, anyways. Um, I put a beard on myself with the face app app and I'll uh, pop up a picture here now. So yeah, as you can see, um, that's, that's what I'm going for. That's the end goal. Eventually I'd like to have a nice, burly, amazing beard. <laughs> I'm probably a couple years off of that. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm being patient about it, but I would love to have that tomorrow if, if possible, but all of us would like to wake up tomorrow, you know, in a cis male body. You win some, you lose some. Um, I think my face shape has kind of, like, I don't think there's as much fat in my cheeks as there was before. So I think, like, that's kind of squaring out a little bit. Um, it definitely just doesn't feel as, like, puffy. So that's pretty cool. My hairline... Um, I think this is definitely, like, in this general area, is getting thinner. <laughs> I did get a haircut recently, but, like, the corners are definitely kind of, they're kind of going upward. If you hear any background noise, it's just my dogs walking around, uh, and playing with their toys, because I'm in the living room, and this is where they hang out, so. Uh, I think, I think, like, I'm at a point, I work in customer service, I'm at a point where I probably pass half of the time, like right down the middle, 50-50, if someone's gonna call me ma'am or if someone's gonna call me sir. Um, now, before, I rarely got called sir. Like, sir would be like every once in a blue moon, like as a mistake, and then they would correct themselves. Now they either just like very confidently go with sir or ma'am. I've only had like one or two weird interactions where they were like, sir, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am. Um, eh. <laughs> And so I, I, I'm just like, sir, it's fine. Thanks. Like, you know, it, it, those of you that work in customer service, you just kind of play that stuff off because it just is what it is. You know, I don't let that kind of thing get to me because I've already made like so much progress in such a short period of time in comparison to where I was before. So for me, like even half of the people, like just very confidently saying, sir, is is amazing like it's so like well it's euphoria inducing <laughs> instead of dysphoria um so has anyone has anyone else watched euphoria on hbo not sponsored but <laughs> that show is actually fantastic like it's very unique we won't we won't get into that anyways moving on <laughs> um I, the only reason i mention it is because there's a uh, trans female actress that plays in the show um and she actually like plays a trans person and I just really enjoy like when we have trans people playing trans people too um, as kind of more representation. Um, sorry, my dog wants a treat. He has like a little jar with treats that sits on the coffee table um, that he begs for and he just knocked it over. So anywho, he'll get a treat in a minute. I promise I'll give him one. Uh, I, I like my like the rest of my body hair is coming in a little bit thicker. Like, I just wasn't a very hairy person to begin with. So, like, any any hairs that I get, I'm um, thankful for. <laughs> uh, which my roommate does not understand at all. Like, she, like, anytime I, like, mention, like, oh my gosh, I got another belly hair. She just, like, rolls her eyes. She's like, I don't know why you, you can have mine. Like, <laughs> I don't think, yeah. It's, it's, it's so hard to explain. Like, have you guys ever tried explaining like a gender dysphoria and being trans to a cis person. It's just like, it's just so hard to explain. Like it, I, I can never like describe it with words in a way that would make sense to someone that doesn't have gender dysphoria. And she like, you know, we played off as a, like, it's, it's a joke. It's like all in good fun. So it's not like anything serious for those of you that are concerned, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's so like, I'm getting like a couple more body hairs, nothing too crazy there. Um, I don't know. I've just been having a good time. Like I'm having a good time with all of this. Uh, I'm still hungry literally all the time. I could eat anything and everything. Um, since starting tea, I've only gained like five pounds, which is still not a small amount, but, 
uh, for being like three months of just like straight hungry all the time. I don't think that's too bad. Um, and my like workplace, we actually just started a weight loss challenge. Uh, and it's going to be like a 10 week challenge. So hopefully I lose a little, little bit of weight during that. I'm going to try to, um, ride my bike back and forth to work. It's like two and a half miles. So, uh, be like five mile bike rides each day, which would probably help along with cutting back on my soda intake because yeah, it's not good for you. It is not good for you kids. In case you're wondering, <laughs> don't, don't, don't do the sugar thing. It's very addictive. I don't recommend. Um, yeah, no, I just, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I, I don't know if there's really anything else. Uh, I've definitely still had like more energy than I used to have. Um, I feel like I've been accomplishing more, uh, and it's probably one to do with the energy that testosterone like typically gives you, not for every, like everyone's effects and, and how their body reacts to testosterone is going to be different. It's going to be unique for every individual person. So my, my experience is not going to be the same for you necessarily or for anyone else. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I've definitely had more energy and I've been a lot better like mentally, mental health wise since uh, going on testosterone, which has been very um, relieving. <laughs> I mean, as it, as it should be, but I like, it's just, it's kind of, it feels like a little bit, well, it feels like a lot of weight off of my shoulders, to be honest, that I'm not like fighting with myself and my mind about all of this. And I was going back and forth about about whether or not to come out and medically transition for years, for actual <laughs> several years. Um, so to not have to like have that going on in my mind anymore is super helpful <laughs> in the way of like being able to like be genuinely happy and like feel good about things. So um, yeah, I mean, I don't really think I have, oh, I, I need to, I need to do the voice thing, which I always forget about. All right. <laughs> this is my voice three months on testosterone. Was it crazy? Was it wild? I don't know. I haven't actually listened back to, to the like first video I did. So maybe it's significantly different. Obviously for me, like I'm with my voice every day all day so like if it's changing gradually like it's not like it's not something that you would like hear the significant difference in the day today so yeah let's uh let's see I, I like I assume it's a lot lower because everyone keeps commenting on how low it is um <laughs> like in my day-to-day -day life so uh yeah I mean I will see you guys next month um I might make I ran a random video here or there. I, I've kind of been thinking about doing a singing video, but I didn't do like a, a before. Um, I have a couple of videos of me singing though, different songs, pre tea from like a couple of years ago. So I guess I could do that comparison. That might be kind of interesting. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'll probably see you guys next month.